Welcome back to Washingborough Hall. My name is Deborah Goodall and today I'll be presenting the final session on marketing planning. In these sessions, we'll look at the final three P's um, and we'll start with people. So people is obviously anyone in your business, but it's anyone in your business that the customer interacts with and that's whether that's in person or digitally. And if you think about all those points of contact in your business, that might be, it might be you. They might speak to the cleaner, they might speak to a waiter, they might speak to a tour guide. There's lots of points of contact. And the customer experience that's delivered by people in your business can be a critical differentiator, especially when it comes to decisions about return visits or purchases and recommendations. Are all of those people that they come into contact with conveying your brand values? So pre-sale and post-sale communications can also make all the difference. How do you communicate with your guests before they come and stay with you? Are you emailing them directions in advance? How do you communicate with them after their stay? Are you making contact with them to ask, invite them to leave a review somewhere? Or are you making contact with them to ask them personally how their stay was with you? Processes, so another one of the P's. So this is all the processes involved in considering, purchasing, delivering and supporting your products or services. So are you keeping your customers up to date? So if they wanted to visit a country house, could they make that booking online? How do they actually get information on when they can visit? When, where are your opening hours? How do they know what footwear they need to wear to visit the country house? Are they going to be exploring the grounds? Is it uneven? Is it muddy? Is it all paved? Um, is it uh, wheelchair friendly? Simple things like how to find the country house. So where is it located? Are there any uh, key features they should look out for on the way? Have you got brown, brown signs directing people to your location? Process also cover things like booking. So can you book your B&B room or your self-catering cottage online? Can you pay by things like PayPal, Apple Pay, Google Pay? How convenient is it for people to make that booking? You don't want to be putting pain points into people's journey that will send them somewhere else at that very crucial point where they're making that booking. Do they want the hassle of trying to find their credit card? Probably not. The best thing to do is to try and map out your customer's journey from first contact to post purchase and see where improvements can be made. And mapping it out doesn't have to be a complicated process. It could be as simple as getting a whole load of post-it notes, thinking about um, where that first contact might be made and then just walking through that journey that they might interact with you through to post purchase and looking and seeing where the gaps are. What is the opportunity for improvement? Physical evidence is the final of the seven P's of marketing planning. So this is all about the image that your business presents through either its physical or virtual presence. So what do the premises look like? What's the appearance of the staff like? Are they all wearing uniform? What's the appearance of your website like? What's it like as you drive up to the venue or hotel? Can you park your car outside? Is it easily accessible? Does the presentation of everything within your business, and when I say everything, I mean absolutely everything, represent your brand and effectively communicate your brand values? Bringing together all of these different elements of your business will help you create an offer or proposition that exceeds, if you go back to what we were saying at the start, exceeds the needs of your customers profitably. So that's the final session on marketing planning. I hope that you found these interesting and useful.